أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is chapter 9, part 3 of How to be a Happy Muslim, inshallah. Chapter 9, part 3 Sometimes we have negative thoughts and memories that we just don't seem to be able to get out of our heads. Sometimes it is not easy to rise above your problems and focus on gratitude to Allah. When you have negative thoughts which cause negative feelings that you just don't seem to be able to rise above, well, then you must be patient and compassionate with yourself. We Muslims talk a lot about being merciful and compassionate to others, but what about being compassionate and forgiving to ourselves? If you believe you should treat others with mercy, don't you think the same rule should apply to how you treat yourself? Often we beat ourselves up for our weaknesses when we should show ourselves some patience and compassion. Nobody's perfect. So if you find it difficult to rise above your negative feelings, just be patient and kind to yourself. And of course, Ask Allah to help you with your negative thoughts. Happiness Hint Treat yourself with compassion. The next verse listed at the beginning of this chapter is, Say, My servants, you who have transgressed against yourselves, do not despair of the mercy of Allah. Truly, Allah forgives all wrong actions. He is the ever-forgiving, most merciful. Holy Quran, chapter 39, verse 53. To be happy Muslims, we must remember that Allah commands us to never lose hope in His mercy. He is the most forgiving, the most merciful, the most compassionate. A Hadith Qudsi recorded in Bukhari and Muslim states, when God decided to create a creation, he wrote a writing which is with him upon his throne. Verily, my mercy has overtaken my wrath. Yes, Allah is the just, and he does punish people. But he himself reminds us over and over again that his attribute of mercy is above all other attributes. Just reflect on why every chapter except one in the Holy Quran begins with Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim, in the name of Allah, the compassionate, the merciful. This is a wonderful thing. Let us be thankful that Allah is merciful. Let us try to be the best Muslims we can be, but when we are not, let us never lose hope in His mercy. That is His command. Happiness Hint Appreciate the fact that Allah emphasizes His attributes of mercy and compassion above all other attributes. We don't get everything we want, so we need to just take our attention away from what we don't have and put it towards what we do have. This book is not about pretending that everything is wonderful. This book is about how to make a conscious, deliberate choice to focus on what you have and what you are genuinely grateful for, while at the same time focusing on solutions to your problems rather than just dwelling on your problems. This book is also about remaining calm when you cannot think of any solutions to your problems. By remaining calm, you open your mind to find solutions. When we react in negative ways to our problems, this actually makes our problems grow. We must remember to stay calm and grateful for what we have. Happiness Hint When we react negatively 
to our problems, this actually makes them grow. As Muslims, we believe that Allah gave us the power to choose our thoughts and actions. If we didn't have this power, we would not be accountable before Allah for the choices we make. We have a choice in what we think and do. When you are experiencing a negative feeling, you must remember that you have the power to choose your thoughts. So, the secret to happiness is to train yourself to think and act in ways that promote your happiness and inner peace. Most people believe that our feelings are a result of what happens to us. Cognitive behavioral theory posits that our feelings are actually the result of our interpretations of what happens to us. In other words, the way you think about an outside event, such as a rude spouse, a low grade on a test, etc., is what causes your feelings. You may be thinking, but isn't it normal, justified, to get angry or sad when our spouses are rude to us, or when we do poorly on tests, or when our cars break down, etc.? Yes, it is normal and justified. However, this book is trying to show you how to recognize these normal and justified negative feelings and then shift them to feelings of calm, peacefulness, and happiness. What you have to do is work through those negative feelings and replace them with thoughts and actions that genuinely make you feel better. The key word is genuine. What works for one person will not work for all. For example, when my spouse says something that hurts my feelings, I do feel down. But I tell myself that feeling down is not helping anyone. I tell myself that nobody's perfect and sometimes people lack certain skills in communicating respectfully. I remind myself of my spouse's good heart and good intentions. These replacement thoughts may not work for you, but they work for me. What you must do is keep posing different thoughts to yourself, and when a thought makes you feel better, then you have found the thought for you. Happiness hint, keep trying to find a thought that makes you feel better. Some people may ask, well, if someone hurts your feelings, shouldn't you tell them so that they won't do it again? My answer is that you must tap into your inner wisdom and intuition to answer this question. From my personal experience, if I am feeling hurt by someone, I do not find it effective to talk to them while I am feeling hurt. When I have lifted my mood back to inner peace and calm, then I can decide on the right time and the right way to talk to that person or whether I need to bring it up at all. We all need to honor our inner voices and feelings about the right actions to take. Everyone is different and every situation is different. Happiness Reflection Imagine yourself in the situations of getting a poor grade on a test, your car breaking down, or someone you know hurting your feelings. What are some specific thoughts that genuinely bring you inner peace and calm that you can use to replace your negative thoughts? For this activity, you really should be motivated to find and to feel inner peace and calm. Why is it important to you to bring yourself to a state of inner peace during challenging situations?